Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and I've been living here in Austin, Texas for about two years now. Me and my boyfriend live on Riverside and we're just trying to look to switch it up. So we're planning on moving out of our apartment and we want to kind of just check out other areas. So I've already done a tour for Central Austin, East Austin, but today we are touring around Mueller. I'm pretty sure a couple of the apartments are right in Mueller and then the others are a little bit like north and south of it. So we're gonna get a taste for this whole area and Mueller is one of my favorite spots here in Austin it's just such a nice like walkable area and I feel like I've been saying that about you know the other areas too but that's the thing I love about Austin I feel like a lot of the places are very walkable you know people are out running walking their dogs obviously Austin is very dog friendly if money wasn't an option and there was houses available I would definitely buy a house in Mueller because this is like my ideal area so I thought I would just go ahead and check out the apartments in the area because if you know you know Austin housing market is a little bit crazy right now and kind of impossible to buy a house so I'm not even gonna try I also am just 24 so I feel like I could definitely wait a couple more years save a little bit more money and buy a house that I really really like if you're apartment touring like me I highly recommend to get an apartment locator I've been partnering with smart city on this apartment touring series and they have helped me so much they basically just take the things I want in an apartment and then create a personalized list of apartments for me to tour from there once you sign a lease your agent will actually get a commission from the apartment that you chose so you don't have to to pay anything this service is completely free if you stumbled across this video but you're not looking to live in Austin don't worry because smart city actually operates in a bunch of major cities Dallas Fort Worth Austin San Antonio Houston Atlanta Denver and Nashville if you're interested in any of the apartments I showed today go to the link in my description box where you can be matched with a local licensed real estate agent and start touring from there as you can tell it's a pretty gloomy day here in Austin I feel like every single time I try to tour apartments it's been gloomy which isn't great to see the lighting in the apartments but we are gonna go see these apartments anyways and it's time to start touring starting off in the heart of Mueller this is a one bedroom one bath it is 690 square feet and I did think that this is a pretty spacious one bedroom um, as you can see in the bed I'm pretty sure this is a king and there was so much space to walk around even with the dresser sitting there I did think that the kitchen and the bathrooms were a little outdated just compared to the ones I've seen today and just like in the past but the closet was huge and then this is a one bedroom one den and the kitchen did have a darker finish to it. I did like the lighter one if I had to choose. Um, and then this is the den. It came with a built-in kind of office, which is awesome. And then here is the living room. It's humongous, but it is a corner unit, this specific unit at least, so it didn't really get too much light. It was a gloomy day, so it could have been that, but the closets here are huge. And then the bathroom again is a awesome bathroom, but you know, I feel like I've definitely seen a little bit more updated bathrooms. Here are some of the amenities like the pool, some lounging spaces, um, places where you could work from home and all of that fun stuff. Moving on to our second property of the day, I wanted to start off with the amenities and I feel like they just had endless amount of places to work from home. Um, they did have two phases. So the first phase had like the fitness center, the big pool and um, this whole clubhouse, but this one this little clubhouse so cute literally looks like its own little coffee shop was in the second phase So that's really awesome. And then their fitness center was probably the most advanced I've seen so far Since they did have two phases They had one large pool in the first phase and then they also had this little cute pool that you can just sit by you can You know go in. I thought it was really cute I'm not even joking you when I say that my jaw dropped when I walked into this unit because like I said, it was a gloomy day and it was still really bright in there, but also this kitchen was beautiful. It was everything I ever wanted, all white, had built-ins, the backsplash was really cute, and then the bedrooms were actually pretty big compared to all of the units I've been seeing so far, and then wait for it guys, just when it couldn't get better. There's marble in the bathroom. Like what? This shower is huge. They have double vanities. The closet is really big too. They have built-ins in the closet, which is awesome. And then look, there's a like sitting area in the shower. I just thought that was so cool. All right, moving into the guest room. Also really, really big. The windows are huge. So it lets in so much light. 
and then this is the guest bathroom so it has all that storage that i really like and then it has a huge closet as well in the guest room this was the second unit that i saw at the same apartment complex this apartment did have different finishing so as you can tell in the bathroom it's not marble it's like this wooden kind of feel i don't even know like a tile thing um i definitely did like the marble better <laughs> but even these bedrooms are so big and this one actually was a corner unit so it got even more light than the other one you actually could have the option to get the marble it's just um i think it's every other floor has the marble and then the other floors have the tile situation and then they had this extra room for like a dining table or whatever you wanted to put in this um, the kitchen here a different backsplash so it wasn't all white but it was still stunning walking into our third property of the day starting with amenities again this is just a common area you can use it for working from home or use the kitchen behind the counter and what i thought was really cool about this property is that it has a rooftop pool and it has unlimited towel service so it actually comes within your rent which was very unique the unit itself definitely gave me la vibes for some reason i just thought it was just very simple you know clean cut i did have higher hopes for the bathroom i will say but the closet is really big and if i didn't mention this is a one bedroom one bathroom This is our last property of the day and they had so many places to just chill outside of your apartment, work from home. I definitely was prioritizing looking for somewhere where I could just get out of my apartment, but you know, stay in the same apartment complex. And it definitely reminded me of a tech startup, but those steps with the cushions definitely gave me those vibes. And then they had an amazing fitness center and their pool is huge. They could only show me a two bedroom, two bathroom, but the kitchen was massive and I loved just like the open feel of this apartment. And this apartment was 1,295 square feet. Here's the guest bathroom, pretty good size. And then the guest bedroom, which had a decent sized closet as well. And then I also liked how they had a dining table in this area if you wanted to do that. Um, and then going into the master bedroom, this bed was also huge and there was a lot of space to walk around it. So we love to see it. Here's the master bathroom. We have double vanities. We have this beautiful shower and a huge closet. I just got done touring and these places actually blew me away. I was in love with, I think it was the second one I toured. Oh my goodness, the kitchen was beautiful. I loved like the more like farmhouse backsplash in the kitchen. And a lot of the kitchens today were huge, which was very much appreciated because I have a lot of kitchen appliances that definitely need some storage. Um, so that was great. And then also like, I feel like the closets were really big. One was right in Mueller. So like literally steps away from like the Mueller Lake Park and everything like that. But I think the others were a little bit north. So one was on Burnett road um and a couple of vlogs back i actually vlogged us having dinner there um it's a really nice like strip of like cute little restaurants and that area is just really nice too there's a bunch of like homes over there it is a little bit more north than i would personally like to live um and even the ones i really liked like the second one and i think the fourth one that i toured those were in the highland area i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and that is a little bit more north than Mueller. So the places were literally stunning. The amenities blew me away. The design of the place, I mean, those two buildings were a lot newer. Right now we do live on Riverside, so we're about 15 minutes from downtown. And it would kind of be the same if we were to move in that Highland area. So I know we want to be a little bit closer to downtown, so I don't know if like, you know, it's worth it to just move to like a place that's equidistant from our place right now because the main goal is to be closer to downtown but these places are such a great option if you kind of just want to be a little bit outside of the city but still want to be you know close enough where you can like uber to meet friends and drink and you know do all the fun stuff in austin so that wraps up this video if you guys are interested in seeing more of these apartment tours i have a central austin video and an east austin video already up that you can watch so i'll link them down in the description box if you are looking for a new apartment or your first apartment i highly recommend to get in contact with smart city because seriously they do 
all of the hard work. You literally just do the fun part, which is touring the places and you know, getting to see where your future home is. I'll have a link in the description box where you can get in contact with Smart City and kind of start looking for your next apartment there. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram and TikTok. Like I said in the previous videos, I have followed them ever since I lived in Austin because they just have really cool content. Like they post tour videos all the time. If you're looking for things to do in Austin or just want to see someone living here in real time, you can go follow me on Instagram. It's so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.